What's up guys, Charles from Three Tanks Dev. In this video, we'll be checking out the features and some test footage on the Chiyin Smooth X. And we'll be starting off with the iPhone SE 2020, which is a really nice size mobile phone to fit this small gimbal, the Chiyin Smooth X. So you can see really, really nice size, easy to mount as well. And then we're also going to test out a giant mobile phone, the iPhone 11 Pro Max and see if there's any difference in the footage when you use a small compact mobile phone or a giant mobile phone whether there's any difference in the stabilization and whether or not this gimbal can take the weight of you know the iphone 11 pro max or a lot of the mobile phones nowadays are really really huge and heavy so we're gonna check out the features right now of the zy cami app and then We'll do the test footage, so let's get straight to the video. Yep, so all you gotta do is connect it. And then at the bottom left here, you can hit the camera button to connect to your smooth cue. And here are the options available. You can see the download version 1.84 is available. I will do the update later on, just showing you the interface of this ZY Cami app. So you can do panorama. There's even a smart, whereby they do have some templates. Panel, photographs, videos, slow motion, time-lapse, hyperlapse as well. That's pretty cool. So these are the options available. And we got some options over here as well to shoot at 4K 60 frames per second. So that's good news. Some of the other apps don't allow you to shoot at 60 frames per second. And you can also change your settings to manual settings and stuff. Manual mode is here, automatic mode is here, but you can do some adjustments as well to the EV. Whereas manual mode, you can change the ISO, the shutter speed and so on. You can even flip to the selfie camera like I'm filming on right now. There are three different modes available. You can actually press the M button over here or you can go into the menu. So the bottom left over here, you do have the options to choose what kind of mode you want. PF, L mode or roll and pan falling mode. You can do an auto calibration. Yep, so pretty cool, dual city options. You can test out this option right now, the gesture control. I can even show you uh, follow gesture for photographs and videos. So I'm gonna test it out right now. You need to press this on over here to in activate gestures. They put their identify gesture, so they're waiting for you to gesture. So let me try it out by flipping on this camera. Oh, cool, so that's how you do the tracking. Very, very nice, simple. All right. So by putting your hand up, it actually starts. How do you stop it? Is there a way to stop it or only to start it? Yep, yeah, seems like there's only a way to start it. It lost the tracking. Okay, so that's how you do it. Try it again. Yeah, let's try putting my hand up. Okay, so you can either do any gesture, the piece or the five fingers. Let's see if the two fingers works. Yep, it does work as well and it will track, so that's pretty cool. All right. 
All right, so that's playing around with all the features available on the ZY Cami app. We're gonna take the iPhone 11 Pro Max downstairs to do some test footage, and then we're gonna do it on iPhone SE 2020 as well, just for fun. And then we're gonna, uh, upcoming video, we're just gonna test out a challenge between the DJI Osmo Mobile 3, if I can find it, and the Chain Smooth Q, so let's go. Okay, so same thing as the DJI Osmo Mobile 3, how do you actually pan it like this? How do you actually do a low shot? You can't flip it like a normal gimbal. You need to put it this direction, same as the Osmo Mobile 3, and then walk around like this. So you can see this is how you do the uh, side shot. If you're running, it would be easier for you to do this direction instead of running like this, I guess, sometimes. a bit to the side. So I'm PF mode. Okay, PF mode again. Changing modes right now, and I'm in L mode, lock mode. Whatever direction you want to change, it will stay in that one position. And then last mode we're gonna do is roll and pan following mode. So here's the footage. Yep, so even if you tilt, it will tilt and follow as well to make the movements, I guess, more natural. And then we're going back to pan follow mode. So pan follow mode right now. Yeah, so basically that was the test. I believe the pan follow mode, which I always use in all my other gimbals, is the best mode. The one that I can really get accustomed to. So yeah, I'm gonna test it out on the iPhone 11 Pro Max right now and see how it goes. Okay, so right now we are on the iPhone 11 Pro Max doing some test footage, let's go. Okay, finally some test footage on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Flip it 
it sideways. Yep, so basically that's it. Some test footage on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. She in smooth cue does take a little bit of getting used to. Alright, so that's checking out the features of the ZY Cami app and the footage on the iPhone SE 2020 and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. In terms of the two mobile phones, footage looked pretty much similar. So basically, this Chain Smooth X can take the weight of the iPhone 11 Pro Max, a heavier mobile phone, and it doesn't really affect the footage as compared to using a light mobile phone. So that's a good thing. But one thing I didn't notice, firstly, is that when you do this side pan shot, like right now, sometimes it seems to be tilting upwards a bit. Yeah, whenever you do this and then you bring it down to your waist level or your knee level if you're taking low shots or even like right now, it seems to tilt up a little bit or sometimes it tilts down so that can affect your video if you're doing low shots. Secondly, the ZY Cami app, when you are shooting at 4K 60 frames per second, if you noticed two footages using the ZY Cami app, it seems to be really laggy at times. If you notice the footage, it tends to be really jerky. I did try out the same uh, footage but using the stock iPhone camera app and it's a lot more smooth when shooting at 4K 60. So it seems to be some kind of software issue when using the ZY Cami app. 4K 60 tends to be really or more laggy and jerky kind of video as compared to using the normal camera application. So that's two things to take note of. One is this, right, right now you can see it tends to be tilting upwards. If you do the side shot, if you're walking straight like this, it doesn't really matter. And second of all will be the ZY Cami app. I hope they do come up with updates to fix this lagginess in the video when shooting, especially in 4K 60 frames per second. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video on the Chain Smooth X and hope this video was useful. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below and some comments if you want to. And in the next video, I will be putting up this Shein Smooth X against the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. So look out for that video in a couple of days time and I'll see you soon. Peace.